Hey, there we go. Can you see me? Oh, you just fell into the water. You're doomed. It seems... I don't know. It, it seems like... It, I mean, it, it's fast. Everything is very slippery, though, yeah. Well, no, it just... It seems like everything is delayed by, like, half a second. Because, because it is? Well, more oh. like a quarter of a second. I mean, that's how much lag there is. All right, welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play from Rampancy. I'm Nargogen. I'm Blackstar, and here we are. We've gone back into the past. Yeah, right. This is Quake. This is the 20th anniversary of Quake this week, and uh, they is released it? yeah they released a new episode for it, or a new level anyway, called Dopa, which is E5M1, mm -hmm. uh, and we're playing it in the Dark Places engine on the Mac. So I thought we would take a look at this. I think it's like a modified version of one of the uh, first. Uh, levels in the original game, kind of like what they did with Doom a while back, where they mm -hmm. they did a new level. So uh, let's let's jump in here. Well, see, I was much more of a, a, a Quake player than a Doom player back in the day. Oink. Great. Where the heck are we now? So, so this will st this will look a little bit familiar at the start, and then things will be a little oh, it's different. Quake. Well, yeah, but I mean the actual level. I mean, you look at it, you're like, oh, yeah, I, I know what this is. And then you will find out that there are some different things. Okay, got some arm over there. Uh, does that mean we're sharing, or is there some for me, too? Nope. I got there, I got there first. Yeah, I had a feeling. I haven't finished this, but I did uh, play around with it a little bit. So you remember, this is all kind of similar, you know, there was the bridge to go over the water to another door, but it's not exactly the same as it used to be. If you remember, this is this is the room where the uh, hardly working machinima was filmed. Yeah. In the in the, the original version of it, anyway. Watch the boxes. Wow, feel the range of that shotgun. <laughs> so you get so used to them only working from three feet away for some reason. <laughs> Wonder whose fault that is. Ah, uh, kicking it old school. And of course, for hardware requirements, you got to imagine what, what. What available hardware back then you had to play things on versus what you have today? Oh, yeah. And this I mean, thing is yeah, come on. beyond bought, super smooth. I bought a 3DFX card just to play Quake, pretty much. I mean, uh, I, I recall. <laughs> here's, here's a stupid question. Is there friendly fire? Uh, no, I turned it off. Oh, I got the nail gun. Yep. Now, this this was pretty much my favorite gun. And, uh oh, that's not good. Mm. Well, it's good. Oh. Well. Nope. Thanks for killing me. <laughs> <clears throat> that was funny. Uh, where am so I? So you notice, oh, um, having friendly fire off does not prevent me from killing you. No, it does not. Uh, you you, you should have just now. I'm all the way just... back at the beginning. Ugh. Oh, in the very beginning, or just in the beginning yeah, of this area? Pretty close. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I got the key. Well, I'm sure you do. Oh, I'm hearing some doors open. Somebody else spawned over here. Okay, that's weird. Oh, quad damage. I'll tell you what, you can have that if you can get up to it. <laughs> How long now, does this last? Not long. Yeah, but I left my nail. Uh, I left my nail gun. Ah, hey, you don't need it if you have a quad damage. Yeah, nail nail gun was pretty much my favorite too. Oh, what happened? Uh, your oh, quad that? damage. No, quad no, damage I, wore out. What happened? Uh, Did you die? No, I stepped in some liquid and it insta killed me. Oh. <laughs> Here we are, back at the beginning again. Nope, I'm out of nails. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, definitely old school. <laughs> yeah, there's liquid over. There's liquid here and around there, and then there's this. I, I guess a hazard suit or whatever Quake's equivalent of is over there. But it, so it looks like oh, you could just wade through the water to get to it. But That's I don't, what I, I don't, thought. I don't think and it works that way though. Well, apparently not. Uh, this oh, door. Oh, this door opens from the other side. It says. Uh, no. Oh, okay. I found some more bad guys. Oh, it says the egg. Oh, okay. I opened the door from the other. Oh, and some guys in spacesuits came out of me. Oh, jeez. I forget what those enemies are called. Oh, I heard that. Oh, this is really not. Uh, where, where are you? The delay is in the the over. Are you still trying to jump that water? Uh, I'm I'm trying to just function. <laughs> yeah, because the the delay on this thing when you're too close to the edge of something. By the time you stop or you overcompensate, you just make it worse. So even even jumping or or getting across like yeah. a simple bridge or something, you just either walk into the wall. I've died in this section alone like twice. Oh, how'd you do that? Trying, well, <laughs> like I said, the delay and the over overcompensation from one side to the other means that you can't hit things sharply or directly, or you just continue on going when you want to stop. Oh, and here's the suit. You can have that too, over here. Uh, I don't think we need it though now, unless there's something under the water to get. I did find the exit though. Yeah, I'm constantly walking oh. into walls. Oh, you and exited. I was uh, over see by what I mean? The... I'm constantly walking into walls and things. So. No, we got one out of six secrets and forty-one out of forty-three kills. So there were uh, there were still two guys. I guess we didn't find somewhere. Mm. Oh, and you telefrag me. Well, no quake game is complete without a telefrag. without a telefrag. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I, I thought it was over, but I guess there's more. Well, especially with the corpse camera. These guys really want me to freeze. So much for that plan. There's some armor over there. Now, would a local game have this kind of delay? Um, it feels very skatey to me. It feels very Quake World skatey like, even to me. Uh, like not delayed, but slippery. Like, you know, like you, like you press a key and you go moving and like until you press another key, you keep moving almost. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, this that's, that's, area I don't, is I don't remember that being down. The, the case back in the day. I'm, I'm wondering if that's a, a modern issue. Okay, this area is powered down, so we have to find, I guess we have to jump down there if we can't. Uh, there's a door this side. Okay, this also powered down. It says. So I guess we gotta. I guess we gotta go down. I'm guessing the blue fluid is not deadly the way the green is. Some weird sounds down here. Oh, this door is powered down. Ah, yeah. There's a pipe. There's a pipe underwater here. Okay, you can stop halfway through and get some air, but this door is also powered down, so I guess we gotta go back under again. Guess we gotta keep going. Oh crap, dark. Wish I had a flashlight. Oh no, um, no duct tape. I see a flashing button. I pushed it, and the lights oh. came on. Hello. Lights are good. Okay. Well, usually. Usually good. Looks like we can't go back that way, though, because this pipe is too, uh, too tall to jump back into. Oh, I found a... I found the... I found the one ring of Sauron. I, oh, I'm invisible. Ring of shadows. Oh, 
Hey, look at that. Invisibility in a game where shooting does not make you visible. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, that's definitely old school. It oh. has no drawbacks. Well, you say that, but... Oh, great. Oh, beginning again. Boy, it's been a long time since I had a video game where going back to the beginning actually meant going back to the beginning. Um, do I actually still have the nail gun, or... I guess we don't because we changed levels? Oh no, I have it. There we go. It's four. Forgot all that stuff. Oh, you're switching between guns? Yeah, yeah. well this is, you know, like the, the whole modern, um, you know... Oh. Uh, Freeze! Uh, un <laughs> Unreal Doom and Quake. You know, you, you didn't have the limitations of singular or, or double or triple weapons. You had like 50 guns and you could pick any one at any yep. time. So, all right. So now I see we're above. Yeah, we're above that area again with the water. We came back to the yeah, start. Yeah. Did you flip? Did you flip whatever switch was needed to power things up? Or uh, yeah, it was the it was the one in the dark that turned the lights on. I think. Okay. This well, it says this one's still powered down. Yeah, there must be another. We oh, you know what it is? We got to go back into the water and then go right instead of left. I just want to make sure I found everything else over here before I do that. Okay, there was the there was the light that turned there was a switch that turned on the lights. There's some boxes over here. Is there anything over here? Whoa. Okay. Found um, some ammo. Some health. Not a secret though. I found a lot of bad guys. Okay, I'm supposed to get over there. Oh, oh, and I'm toast. You died. Oh, please, there's 80 people in here. <laughs> uh, I'm still trying to look and see if I can get that nail ammo over there, but looks like I won't be able to. Alright. Oh, oh! There's a dog loose in the wood. <laughs> Oh. Ah, oh, I'm for that plan. Yeah, there's like a million people in here. Well, there's considerably fewer now, but there are still some. Oh, okay, there you are. Ooh, nails. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, booby trap. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. some kind of trap there. Wow, jeez. When was the last time you had booby traps? <laughs> I have negative four frags. How does that work? <laughs> uh, that deaths, and since it, since it, it thinks it's multiplayer scoring, a frag is only us yeah, killing each other. It's each not other, counting. Which is off. Yeah, so, it's yeah. not counting the other stuff. So, so that's basically just your deaths. It's not counting anything else. He does not want to die. Basically, you gotta run over it real quick. <laughs> oh, see, the gold key is in there, so. Mm, oh, yeah. Um, do we, have to, we have to move the do? We have to spike. I don't think you can move boxes. I thought maybe mm. I could shoot the switch. Oh, maybe. But, but that uh, doesn't it, seem you need a gold to... key, and the gold key is in front of the booby trap that uh, that shoots you. So, um, I can kind of walk on the ledge outside the room. Can I get in through the window? Oh yeah, you can jump in through the window. Uh -huh. There you go. That does it. Okay, so that switch. I've turned that one off. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see how it works. Okay, and I've got that one. That's off. I've got the key. So I've got the gold key card. Okay, so I think that must open this next door. I'll wait, I'll wait till you go. Oh, there you are. You may go back to the beginning, but it doesn't take you long to get anywhere, either. Oh, where'd you go? 
What is this? I have to grab key card too, apparently. I was expecting that to go down for some reason. Oh, is that I think that's the exit. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, but there's like, wait, there's another gate in the back of this, though. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of doors and everything we didn't actually go through. Oop. That go back to the oh, beginning? Sends us back well, no, that sends us back here, but there's still a couple of doors down here, if I recall. Are there? Hmm. All right. There must still be there must still be secrets we didn't get. Um, what happens oh, if sure. you go into the water and we turn the other way? You mean go right? Yeah, because they were, yeah, there were two arrows. Yeah, it sends you into that room with, uh, that killed me. Okay, the, yeah, this area is still powered down. Hmm. Oh, I found some dudes. I'm in this. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> That's my first death. <laughs> Funny, I heard that. Okay, I think in that other room. Yeah, see, this is where I ran yeah. into like a billion people and engaged them and died several times. Stop. Halt. Freeze. And that guy's got like three whole lines of dialogue. Hey, if you were a little kid back in the day, look at this, and you saw in the box has not one, not two, but three lines of dialogue. You'd have been, no way, three lines? That's awesome. So, well, yeah, you I, know what? <laughs> okay. Uh, I was pretty impressed by Doom. It wasn't until Marathon came out that I kind of got jaded with like, oh, okay, here's what it means to have a coherent design and a story-driven campaign in, in a shooter, because... Plenty of games had those, but not that they were shooters. They weren't fast-moving action games that had this kind of a virtual world to be in. You know, they were RPGs like Ultima. You know, that was that was the game that gave you a story. Yeah. With stuff like that. And to be it, honest, I, I have to admit, I was never a huge uh, Doom fan. I did huh. not like not being able to look up, down, left, and right. And when Doom came out, you know, it's very... Lateral, yeah, but you couldn't flat. do that in any of the other games either. No, it wasn't you like couldn't. Doom and was that's why, in that case, right? Well, you know. No, no, no. It's, it's nothing to do with it. Well, even with you know um, Pathways into Darkness and things like that, those types of like Maze Runner shooter type things, it just never really impressed me. And I can remember as a kid saying, you know, I want to look up, I want to look down, I want, I want to, you know, have real world immersion. And this was the first shooter I played that actually mm -hmm. had that. And that impressed me immensely. And I think that was also one of the things with Marathon, which also at the time impressed me. I said, well, Marathon can do it. Why? And I actually remember we probably had an argument about that where I was complaining that Doom couldn't do that and Marathon could, Quake could, so uh, but, why can't okay. the others? But, but Marathon And of course, was... being a dumb kid, it didn't make any sense to me why it wouldn't. And that's why this, I thought, not only felt better and was more revolutionary... Oh, oh crap! I thought that was, I thought that was an enemy. Um, I, so for me, though, I was really impressed by the technology in Doom, and I didn't care about any of the other, uh, you know, drawbacks or, or flaws that it had until Marathon came along. And was like, oh, okay, I see. You could do you could do something like Ultima's story, but also have it be in a shooter. Uh, you could do that. So when Quake comes out and was still featuring the kind of very bare bones story and a very mixed sense of design, mm -hmm. I was underwhelmed by that. The technology here is absolutely fantastic. But then I was like, oh, but wait a minute, but you already saw Marathon. So you already knew you didn't have to just throw all of your de design ideas at the wall and make a thing where you're a guy who shoots people for no reason and doesn't nothing ever makes sense. You didn't right. have to do that, but they did. And and that that I think I, I mean so I probably this is probably one of the last games where I played more of its multiplayer than its single player. I would go through the single player this once, but I would uh, play multiplayer whenever I could, and I would play against bots when I couldn't uh, play multiplayer. Right. Well, this room, um, yeah, that that's that was the way in. I don't know if this has no. I don't way think out. there's anything else. I killed. I I got into the right side area and I killed a, a couple of guys that were left over there, but I think that's it. Um, 
I, I the only thing I see is this other area over there where I could get some nails, but I don't. Well, there's oh, one. Okay, other... here we go. I made it. I made it. I made the jump. Okay, there's one other door over here that still says. It... Oh no, is that open now? Uh, where there's still bunches of doors that were labeled as. Uh, I thought there was at least down. one door that was left, but maybe maybe you triggered it when I was maybe. no more. Oh, okay, that's the elevator gone up. I'm... Without really meaning to, I found my way to the end. Um... Okay, do it. <laughs> yeah, well, one out of five, jet. but we did... Okay, but we did, we did get all the everybody. kills. We did get all the kills, so... <laughs> we got the main stuff, anyway. Still took us almost 14 minutes. Oh, hey, Ogre. Oh! Telebrag. Telebrag. Uh, how, how do we how do we not telebrag? <laughs> well, we have to wait until somebody else has come in and moved off of the panel before the other one uh, hits the button to spawn. Oh, we got the grenade launcher. Yeah, the grenade launcher. This is a really cool weapon. I always like the way this weapon looked and sounded. The the weight of that metal sound. Boom boom. Sounds like something yeah. really heavy bouncing around. I always love that. I always ended up blowing myself up with blood. That that noise, that those uh, zombie enemies there. I've forgotten the names of almost all of these guys, but the, <laughs> that that swallowing noise that they make when they die, like they're choking on their own blood <laughs> or something. I'd like to know where they got all the chainsaws. Uh, some guy with a Mars base was giving them away. Never been used and only dropped once. Uh, the underwater gate has been raised. I hit a button. Now, now with this, this, whoa! whoa. Okay. Black Star wow. joined the zombies. I got literally hit once, and that was it. So, wow. So, technically, would this be the first real popular zombie game then? Um, uh, hmm. Good question. What else do we count? Um, like Wolfenstein isn't zombies; it's Nazis. Well, it's zombie Nazis and zombies zo out. Uh, uh, still hear one around the corner. Um, I oh, still hear one. one here, but I don't know where. He oh, there oh no, they're popping oh! up. Now it said something about an underwater gate when I hit this button, but I don't know where that is. Oh yeah, well there's a gate with a key. Yeah, you need a silver key for this. This door opens elsewhere. Hmm. Um, I didn't see any deep water, though. There didn't seem to be any oh. water that was deep enough to have a gate in it. I mean, it... Oh, wait. I think I see something over here on the left. I forget. Does this have a map? I think it didn't. Oh, yeah. There's a... Oh, there's a golden shield thing on the opposite side of that. Yeah, that's over here. We were over here. Oh, okay, yeah, down. Okay, so the underwater gate, my, yeah, it's over here. Shotguns work underwater. Because, why not? Where is it? Uh, look for some textures on the wall that have arrows that point down. Oh, ninjas! <laughs> I'm, I'm serious, ninjas. Oh no, I totally believe you. I can't remember if that's actually what they were called. Maybe, they, maybe they're like samurai or something. I always, I always thought they were ninjas. I suppose we gotta wait to be killed by everything so it'll tell us what they are, or I'll have to look it up. Okay, everything here is dead. Whoa! Oh, except for that guy and that guy. I'm gonna drown here in a second. Mm. Okay, get some health and some nail. Oh, okay. Uh, there's a nail trap there. Uh, okay, and there's another one there. Yeah, there there are nail traps at the top of two of the stairs uh, on the left and right. Okay, well, I see I nail ammo. Across yeah, no, you know, if you go to the top, if, no, if you go to the top of these stairs. There are there are 
uh, faces that fire nails down at you. Oh, what the heck is that? Narcogen was slain by a death. Uh, I think it's a death knight. Did not recognize the effects on uh, his attacks, though. It looked like flaming oh, it, death. It, it, well, it took uh, all of my nail ammo and a couple shotgun blasts to take care of him, so... Now, if I remember, the design philosophy of this was supposed to be, uh, compared to Doom, fewer, smarter enemies that would give you longer battles. And I, I think it was originally envisioned uh, as more of a melee focus. And uh, at some point, most most of that kind of got dropped, in the sense that the engine couldn't do all this complex rendering and let enemies be smart at the same yeah. time. <laughs> or maybe the idea is just to draw them into the trap. Oh, 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 oh over there. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. Okay. Uh, where are we going now? <laughs> oh, whoa, you're gonna kill us. Kill us. Mm -hmm. There's the key. Well, wow, you literally have to skate across that edge there, mm -hmm. and with the lack of precision in this for some reason, then yeah, that, <laughs> that's going to make things like that really tough. I remember the old one being a lot more precise. What's down there? Oh, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what's down there. Fall damage. <laughs> okay, let's just lead back to that again. Okay. But, or, but, there's a, but there's an arrow here that says this way. Yeah. Well, that that leads up to the key. So now that we have the key, we got to go to the door. Where was the where? Okay, where was that? Was that way at the beginning? I barely remember uh, where it was. Oh yeah, was that little? It was that little thing on the left hand side that said silver, uh, silver key required. Do we got to go? I I guess we got to go back underwater. Probably. Oh. Uh. Okay. There are new enemies in the start area. Can't, can't say that surprises. Yeah, okay, it, okay, it's under here. Oh! Uh, uh. Okay, he's down. Yeah, it must be this. Yep. Okay, another button. Okay, so there's another underwater gate now. So this should be another one of those places. Oh, I know, I know. No, we go back to the same one, and, and there was a there was a there was a gate there. There was a place that was locked off. We couldn't get to. So that should be open now. Yep. Uh, or nope. Oh, zombies. Oh, I hear things, but I can't I see, see you at. Uh, I went back underwater and just turned right. There's a bunch of zombies here. Uh, this gate opens from the other side. Okay. So I gotta go up. Oh, and I hear. I hear. Oh, son of a. Don't like this. Don't like this. Oh, oh, bugger. Oh, I drowned. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I uh okay, I've messed up now. I've messed up now. Oh, okay. I found a secret with some health. Wow, that was really amazing that I did not die. Although I probably will die the trying to leave here. See, I see tons of zombies around and everything, and I don't see a way up. <laughs> yeah, I just happened to find a hole that led me into a secret area with some health, but uh, where else do, can you go right? Mm. This is this is the way back out. Okay. Okay, so I went down 
here. And yeah, over here. And and then we have to go up here and fight a million billion things. Yep. Million billion things. Alright, well at least, at least now I have some weapons. Easier to go in did there. Did you die? The... Oh yeah. Yes I did. Absolutely. Oh well you know what the trick to that is? Not not dying? No no no. There's a little little ledge that you can stand on and oh. they can't continue on forward on you, so you just keep shooting them from here and they can't actually touch you. Oh, you know okay, you know these zombie enemies? I yep. remember I remember the trick about them. Mm -hmm. The trick about them is that uh if you don't blow them up with a grenade, they don't actually die. They just get knocked down, and they will get up again. So you have to use the grenade launcher to actually take them out. Is that because that disassembles them? Yeah. Okay, basically. I think there's a switch over here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, uh oh, the knight got me. Okay, I just killed the guy that killed you. Okay, did you get that other switch? Um, yes, just now. Okay, so we still need the gold key. Gold key should be around here somewhere. Or not? I see it. It's just, it's behind a locked gate. Yeah, it says it gets from the other side. That's why I went around the corner and went up into this area. Uh... Yeah, careful, there's a knight down over here. Did you get him? Oh, yeah, yeah there was this yeah. There was this button right here, so you, yeah. Oh, uh oh, I see. Oh! <laughs> okay. I got the key. Yeah, basically, that button temporarily opens, um... That button temporarily lifts the thing, and you have to run to the end and jump into the water at the end. And if you don't, it crushes you. Huh. Whoa! Oh, okay, there are ogres at the start now. Got rockets. I haven't seen a rocket launcher. That must be one of the secrets we're missing. Um, now where was there a where was that gold door? Do you remember that? Because I have the gold key now. It says that door opens elsewhere, but that's not the gold door. That's was the silver key door there. Oh, this one. Okay. Alright, I found it, and there's another button. An another underwater guy. <laughs> now you know how I felt in Marathon. <laughs> Alright, so now this one straight ahead when you go down is open. Oh, is that a rocket launcher? Yeah, I think oh, so. wonderful. Oh, no, it's a super nail gun. Whoa, and it didn't help me. Fiends. Yeah, I remember those. Alright, uh, there's another two buttons and a big door. Uh, I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Uh, oh, this thing is sealed. Oh, uh... What is it? Oh, you can't get through? Nope. Oh, uh, well... Okay, then. Oh! <laughs> is that you? Uh, yeah, I shot a grenade. Did you hear that? Yes. I shot a button. I can hear you... I can hear you gasping, but I can't actually see where you are. I could... I could touch the key. Yep. No, I'm underneath you, actually. Mm. Eh. I guess not designed for co-op. Nope. Well, there's apparently... Alright, well, uh, I'll just, I'll just trigger piece. this and see what happens. Yep. Sequence completed. Oh, yeah, it, it opened up a door and shot a fiend at me who killed me. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> 
Yeah, I think there's a section. Once you go through that, there's a floor that comes up. Yeah, but if you die, you would respawn at the start. So there has to be a way to navigate from the start to the end always. You'd think that. Yeah, there is. You just go. You go past it. There's a secret area. Underwater, go past the wooden panel that's on the roof. Go forward, and there's another small hole you can jump up through. Yep, I can hear you drowning. But well, well. <laughs> sleeps with the fishes. Okay, so now I'm at the spawn. Okay, so just come this way, where you'd go to go underwater. Are you shooting? Yep. Okay, so just go this way. Oh, wait a minute. Are you sure friendly fire is off? Yep. Straight, I, I took, straight forward. I took damage for that. Mm. And straight forward again. Oh, straight forward again? And then up. Yeah. Uh, there's a... Ooh, can we go down here? No, I can't fall through. Okay. So... Pass through the arch to exit. Oh, oh, all enemies, longer. two out hey, of Hey, you five. found two secrets, though. That's cool. Uh, one of them was literally just that thing we just did. <laughs> mm, well, you know, 